What's up, this is that GTA fan 720, just something really quick. I recently reinstalled Windows 10 Home Edition on this HP NV laptop, and I'm simply showing how I personally configure the security and settings of a Windows 10 machine. Um, I'm in the US, I all that junk, I'm in the central time zone, so it says hi there. I don't know why, but even though this has been here since 2012 or 2011 or whatever, I've, I still get freaked out when there's just plain white test that the computer is talking to me. I find it really creepy, but that's just me. So here's the legal stuff, and I'm curious. I'm actually going to read this, believe it or not, and I'm going to see what this says, because people say Windows 10 and they give you all these rights for stuff so I'm actually gonna read this and if I come out scarred just just tell my girlfriend I love her and I'm sorry I did this well I don't get what they what they are so insanely like weirded about like unless they're hiding so I mean unless they're hiding something here I went through all of it there's nothing I mean, it says that if they need to turn over your data, that they need like they need a warrant, they need a waiver, unless it's like something that could be class action or something like that. I don't know. I don't really care too much, but whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and accept. Oh, sorry, I just died for a second. I think the NSA tried to kill me. Uh, we can't connect right now. Please try... Ah, oh, God. This is the magic screen. Look at this. Your data will be sent to Microsoft, sent to partners, sent Microsoft, sent... To partners sent to the NSA, sent to your grandmother. Let's just go ahead and customize these settings. Focus. Personalize your speech calendar along with other associated input data to Microsoft. No. Send typing in to improve recognition. And so, no. Let no. Let's apps. Well, you know what? For now, no. Next. You smart screen, yeah, page prediction, well, yeah, but that's going to use a bandwidth, so I can change that later, I'm actually going to, no, that's, that's definitely not good, because then someone could hack into my network before I even have time to turn on my VPN, I'm actually going to connect to network ship, no, send, oh my god, scroll down, grab the mouse, scroll down, Send error, yes, I want them to know when stuff breaks. Hi. Hello, we're setting things up for you. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Windows 10. Hello, hello. Hello. Getting critical updates. Don't turn off your PC. I still find this very creepy when the computer is talking to me on a blank screen with white, plain text. Create an account for this PC. There we go. Gotta make it all nice and matchy. Re-enter password. There we go. Boom. Just, ooh, register. Look, HP, I don't mean to be rude, but I don't want any of your trash. I'm just saying. Oh, it's letting me in. Oh, it just had a big thing that said updates are done. And it said like a giant box that said updates are done. Hi, we're setting things up for you. Ooh, suspense. This won't take... Okay, that's BS. There's no way that that's not going to take a thousand hours long. We have a desktop, which isn't... Fully load. Oh, there we go. There we go. So apparently, even though this is 
like an HP recovery, it for some reason included all of the BS Metro apps that it usually includes as bloatware, like all this junk. But like, where's the Office thing? Where's, I mean, Office is always there. Where's like McAfee, which would be right there, right there, somewhere around here would be the big red McAfee block, and there's like, I'm assuming like a few more things that would fill up this, these gaps, or do, are they just not here, are they coming? Like, uh, will they eventually be installed against my will? Okay, well, based on the way the settings look, it seems like this isn't fully updated because it's not supposed to show the block anymore, that's one thing I know. So, apparently it said it was connected to my Wi-Fi, but now I am receiving no connection. So, that's it's probably not updated. So, but anyways, this is, if I can find the computer, come on, there's no this PC, there's no PC, okay, let's just go here, open up the file explorer, go to this PC. And we will, well, first we're going to inject the disk, and we're going to right click, and properties, let's see, properties of this PC, Windows 10, home, and then it's got the usual, I don't know why they call it desktop, and it's a freaking, you know, uh, laptop uh, thing, but whatever. So I need to update this, it says somewhere, it actually says, I don't even know if this has had the 1511 fall update on it yet because I don't know if this if it's supposed to come with that or not but uh, now it's showing the recovery partition which is nice so I seem to have restored it so if I want to do recovery in the future I can actually do it because you guys don't know this but there was a huge nightmare I have with this computer trying to reset it after the thing blue screened so I'm going to Try to get this all updated, and I'll do another update while it's up and running. And for now, I'm going to hold off on installing my programs because I already have everything on this Lenovo T500 as well as all my files anyway. So I'm going to try to use this. This is running Windows 8, uh, Windows 8.0 with Classic Shell and uh, some other tweaks to make it, you know, good. Um, I like Windows 8. I just don't like the fact that how on Windows 8.0 that you, they have the swipe gestures and it's a real pain I still don't figure out how to fully disable those and those drive me insane where it's like I do this because I'm trying to move the cursor and then the, 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 the charm thing pops up and I don't want that or I'm trying to like scroll you know, over here in like an app and then it like flips to the you know like the weather app or something but whatever so this is that GTA fan 720 signing out blah 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 goodbye